Happy Thursday, everybody. This is Chris with Body on Purpose, and uh, <clears throat> just wanted to do a pre Father's Day check in with uh, with all the dads and the moms, but uh, mainly the dads. Um, you are very important to your family. You're important to everyone around you. Uh, God has a purpose for your life. And if you're not as healthy and fit as you can be, you're going to have a hard time achieving that goal that God's, God has set out before you. So I am here to challenge you week by week to get healthier, get better, better than you were yesterday. Okay. Uh, you, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to strive to be Mr. Universe. Um, but just be a healthier version of you, the healthiest you can be, because God wants us to be healthy and happy and, and leave fulfilling lives and to help others. That's the big part is we're here to help each other, uh, help, help God's other children here. So get healthy and you can accomplish that better. Uh, something I've been doing lately, I've, I've kind of challenged myself, um, first thing I did was I, I sat down uh, and had a little heart to heart with myself about where I am now uh, when if you're starting a fitness program starting a <clears throat> you know any kind of improvement program you need to be honest about where you are and so I had to sit down and have you know have a little face to face with myself about you know where I am uh, you know rank, rank myself one to ten one being the worst ten being the best on my overall health uh, my physical uh, health as, as far as fitness goes, uh, my mental health, my spiritual health, uh, what's my relationship like with, with God? What's my relationship like with uh, my wife and my kids? Where, where is all of that? Where am I starting? And that kind of helps us figure out where we need to go, okay? And then we need to set some, some smart goals. We need to set some goals, um, and they need to be smart goals. And that's kind of an acronym um, for uh, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Uh, so we're, we're setting, you know, like I set some short-term goals and I set a few long-term goals, uh, but they are, they are very specific goals. Um, they are goals that I know I can attain, but it's going to take some work to get there. They're not going to be easy to, to achieve, but I know I can get there with God's help. And that's the thing. All this I'm doing with God's help, and, and you can too, because uh, through Him all things can all th all things are possible. So um, the 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 kind of the, the few things I've been doing on a daily basis for a little while, uh, and you know, and I'm not seeing I'm not seeing uh, you know overnight success with all this, but it, but it's getting better every day, and I feel myself getting stronger physically, uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. A little bit every single day okay and we just you get a little bit better every day um, you know if you got 1% better every day in the course of 30 days you'd be 30% better than you are right now so that's kind of where where I am and what I'm doing just one day at a time um, and, and trying to get better than I was the day before so I am you know I've been trying to follow uh, a <clears throat> not a strict you know, a restrictive diet, but a good positive, healthy diet. Um, I'm actually uh, kind of I'm, I'm using the the Body by God uh, diet that Ben Lerner developed um, probably 15 years ago, and basically it's <clears throat> you're adding in. You know, if if you're not already eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and, and lean meats, which we we kind of already do. Uh, then you start adding those things in and, and slowly taking out the bad food or what he calls food by man, uh, the food that we know doesn't nourish our bodies. We know it's not good for us. Um, it's, it's really just there because, you know, maybe it tastes good or it makes us feel good. And then, you know, that also comes with looking at why we're eating. Uh, are we eating because we, we need to fuel our body? Or are we eating because of something emotional uh, or, or because we're bored. So um, those last two are, are not the right, right reason to eat. We need to eat to fuel our body. Uh, the second thing I've been doing is uh, I am, I'm working out, I've been working out five days a week. Um, right now I'm moving into this week, I'm, I'm working out every single day. Uh, I'm doing three 
uh, weight uh, bodybuilding style workouts three days a week. And the other four days a week, I'm doing uh, either uh, just aerobic uh, type stuff or interval training or burst training um, or, or very, you know, specific body part or something like that. So uh, I'm not going and blowing my muscles out every single day of the week, but I am moving my body every single day of the week uh, just to keep myself moving forward, burning calories, building muscles, strengthening my, my cardiovascular system. Um, you know, a few years ago I was diagnosed with um, congestive heart failure. Now my, my heart is, is back in the, in the normal range, but, uh, but you know, I'm, I still have to uh, kind of watch what I, not really watch what I do, but um, I, have to, I have to be very aware of my sodium intake. Um, I can only drink so much water uh, which right now, you know, it's 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 almost hitting 100 degrees here in here in Georgia, and so I'm I'm balancing that out with I'm sweating more because it's hotter, but I can only take in so much water because my body just doesn't get rid of water the way a normal person's body would because of the congestive heart failure. That's kind of a uh, you know that's something I have to I've learned I'm learning how to balance out, and because it's so much hotter right now. Um, you know, it's, it, uh, I'm kind of in a transition, uh, time now, but the good thing is my heart's strong enough that I can do the, the workouts. I can, I can lift weights. I can run on the treadmill. Um, not like I, I did when I was 19 years old, but you know, much better than I was doing a year ago, six months ago. So that's all that matters. Uh, um, the, one of the, the third thing I'm doing is I am, I'm reading a, a daily devotional, and either reading um, my Bible or a Bible app uh, or a, a kind of a, not a, not a really a self-help book, but uh, a, um, you know, like a nonfiction um, book that like more, more of a motivational book. Um, right now I'm actually reading a book by David Goggins called Can't Hurt Me, which is really, really, uh, really awesome. If you haven't read it, uh, he's a he's a former Navy SEAL. went through uh, went through uh, SEAL training or Hell Week three times. Uh, he's also he was also an Army Army Ranger. Real tough dude. Uh, very kind of very in your face, but uh, great read. Very motivational. And and part of one of his points is in his book is that a lot of us give up before we we get we reach our goal. A lot of us get up give up too early. Uh, and most of us can go, we, most of us have like 30 or 40% more in our gas tank than we actually believe we have. We can go a lot further than we think we have. We can push ourselves a lot further than, than we believe we can. And so, you know, I've, I've kind of been finding that out over the last couple of weeks. I can push my body a lot further. Uh, today, you know, I just finished my, my warm up for my big workout today and I had put on my on my whiteboard uh, for my workout that I was going to do 15 minutes on the treadmill just ni nice light and light and easy I did legs yesterday I didn't think I was going to run at all today got to like the 10 minute mark and I'm like I gotta start running so I ran for a little bit I did some some run walk intervals and I didn't stop at 15 minutes I went all the way to 20 minutes pushed myself just a little bit further and the more I pushed myself the better I actually felt. So, uh, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I, I find that when I push myself, I actually, I actually feel better. And there's a lot more in the tank than, than I initially believe. And, you know, if I'm doing this, you know, with, with God, then I, I'm, a, I'm capable of doing a whole lot more. Uh, and, you know, he'll, he'll kind of carry me through it. But uh, that's the third thing. I'm, I'm reading my devotional, Bible, or some kind of uh, motivational uh, book. And like right now I'm reading the David Goggins book. Um, the other thing I'm doing is I am, you know, I have increased my water intake. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that my drug of choice is sweet tea and like really sweet tea. And I am cutting way back on that. Um, and I'm increasing what I'm taking away from what I, what I drink in sweet tea, I'm replacing with water or black coffee. Um, so I have a water bottle that is beside me all the time. 
Uh, it holds uh, like 40, almost 40 ounces. And so I'm, I'm going through one to two of those a day. Um, can't do the whole gallon thing. That's actually too much water for my, my body because of my congestive heart failure. But um, as much as I'm, as hot as it is, and as much as I'm working out right now, I'm, I'm getting rid of a lot of that water, thank goodness, the, the natural, the right way. So, uh, and the, the final thing I'm doing, uh, actually two more things. I am, um, I'm tracking my progress as I go daily. I'm looking at my goals every day to make sure I'm moving towards those goals and not moving away from them. Uh, so I'm, I'm checking in with myself every single day to make sure I'm moving towards, uh, moving in the direction I wanna go. Uh, and the very last thing, and, and, and maybe the most important thing, is something I learned from, from a friend of mine years and years ago. Uh, Steve uh, told me, every night before you go to bed, uh, when you lay your head down on that pillow, think of five things you're grateful for from that day. Not just the general, hey, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my, I have a good job. I'm thankful that we have an, a house to live in. All the, no, none of that. Be specific. Something that you're grateful for in that day. Five things. It's amazing how that calms your mind at the end of the day, helps you sleep better, and puts you in the right frame of mind when you go to sleep. And then you're also, you know, you're in that frame of mind when you get up. And, um, it, it, it just does something for, for your headspace, which is where, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people lately that are in, you know, they're, they're, not, they're feeling physical manifestations um, of pain or, or discomfort or whatever. And I can tell in talking with them, a lot of it is in between their ears. A lot of it is their mindset. Uh, they, they have a, either a defeatist mindset or they're living in the past or, it, woe is me, poor pitiful me. Um, you don't want that headspace. Get up, it, it, and it's hard to have a negative mind space when you are grateful. And you can do this anytime during the day. You have to do it at night before you go to bed, but anytime during the day, you can stop and go, you know, when, when you're not feeling right, when not feeling centered, when you're feeling pissed off at the world or whatever, sit down and just make yourself go, all right, <laughs> what are five things I'm grateful for today? And if you can't find five things that you're grateful for from today, then you really need to do some self-assessment and, and see where your mindset is. Um, I, I can find a ton of things that I'm grateful for today. I mean, it, you, you know, I look around at the world. Yeah, it's, Man, it's hot here today. It's almost 100 degrees, but sunshine is beautiful. My flowers, I'm looking right outside at some daylilies that, uh, that I got from my grandmother years ago. They're blooming because of the sunshine. I love it. Uh, it's Father's Day this weekend. I'm looking forward to a great Father's Day weekend. Uh, I'm going to work in the yard, play in the yard. Um, probably going to be pulling weeds <laughs> half the time, but man, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get to hang out with my family this weekend. Um, I, I had an easy day today. Uh, we, uh, we, had a, we had a water leak upstairs in, in from, from the AC unit and made a water spot on the ceiling. I could have gotten really bummed out about that. But you know what? Just did the right ne next right thing that was in front of me. Turned out it was something minor. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna have to paint the ceiling <laughs> eventually, but uh, once it dries, but you know what? Plumber was only 59 bucks, wasn't that bad. Um, you know, just keep things in perspective. So that's one thing that, that helps me. So all of those things are what I'm doing on a daily basis. Now I've got a long, long way to go. Um, I am not anywhere near where I wanna be, but you know what? I'm further along than I was a week ago and that's all that matters I'm moving towards the person that God wants me to be because I know God's got a lot of stuff in front of me he's got a lot of stuff for me to do just like you guys he's got a lot of stuff for you guys to do 
He wants to use you to help other people. No matter what your situation is, you can help somebody. And if you let him, God will use that, will use you to, to, to help somebody else. If you'll just be that vessel, if you'll be open to doing that. And I'm working on that daily. I'm a, I'm a work in progress for sure. Um, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, all that kind of stuff. I'm a work in progress. But, you know, today, today, I'm living in today and I'm moving towards there. Okay. So just want to share that with you guys. So those, those five things I'm, I'm, I'm following and I'm following a diet, trying to, to watch what I put in, in my mouth, uh, nutritionally. I am, I'm actually using a, a, one of those fitness apps to track my macros. That helps me a lot. Kind of helps me see where I, where I am. And, you know, cause sometimes we're not always aware of how many calories of, fat and proteins and carbs are in what we're eating. So those little apps help. Um, I'm working out every day. I'm drinking more water, drinking less sweet tea, sugary drinks, all that kind of stuff. Um, I am I'm spending time with God every day, um, which, you know, I've been doing for, for a long time, but I, I've been bad about the daily, like the daily readings, um, you know, uh, devotionals and Bible time and all that kind of stuff. So that's one of the big things I'm working on just to be more consistent with that and get closer to God. So, uh, and then the, the five things every day that I'm grateful for before I lay my head down on that pillow. So hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, if you like it, you know, share it, give me a, give me a, a thumbs up and all that kind of stuff and uh, subscribe. But uh, hope you like it. Hope you can pass this on to somebody else. And I hope, something I said helps somebody else out there and um, you know if nobody's told you how awesome you are today let me be the first you guys are awesome dads have a happy Father's Day have a great week stay cool in the heat don't melt and I will see you guys next week